So I'm going to be a bit ambitious uh, this episode and we're going to try to complete three builds to complete this section of the road. Um, I should say the road isn't... It, it's The crossroads are here, but there, it, this isn't directly in the centre. As you can see, we're closer to the wall there than we are to the body of water over there. Uh, but I am uh, just going to leave it like that. The reason the crossroads is here is obviously because we've got the castle up there and I wanted the crossroads to be interlinked with that. But, as I said, we're going to try and work on three builds this episode. We're going to try and work on them all at the same time and just try to make them all stand out, make them all a bit unique and things like that. I've actually moved all of the chests and items into here, into the inn, just because this is like the best build for it, the most complete build. Um, so yeah, that's that's the story there. Uh, what do I need? Oh yeah, I need gravel. I was going to use some gravel work on the path a wee bit more. As you can see, that's what we used at the front here. And I'm gonna, or I'm planning to use it uh, in front of these builds as well. So the design we're going for is probably gonna be very similar to this one in the sense that we'll have cobblestone at the bottom, wool at the top. Uh, obviously the idea is to uh, make it a bit unique from the other builds. So that's what we're gonna uh, attempt to do. We've got logs here as well, spruce logs. So we'll use that. Alright, so far it's looking interesting. Don't know what I'm doing with these, but I think they uh, they stand out. I think they're a bit too low. The aim was to try and get sort of beams going, if you know what I mean. Uh, f beams for support. Not sure if this will necessarily look good, but it's a good start. Stairs might be a good idea. Thing is, I've left just about everything in the uh, in the chests here, so we're gonna have to keep going back and forward. I'm sure. Okay, so it's very generic so far, very basic. As I said, I'm going for the beam idea here. Uh, I'm not sure what this build is necessarily going to represent. Don't think we need to know what it represents. But uh, yeah, it's interesting thus far. Okay, up here we're going to, well, we're going to attempt to implement the kind of wool area, the wool design. Um, I'm not too sure. Maybe we could try and get a wavy design going again. And then that can go up like that. I think this might look quite cool, actually. And, yeah, we'll have... Have a divide up the middle, I reckon. And this is where the window's going to be. Let's uh, get some glass in the bar. We have been doing a lot of building lately, so next episode we'll probably do something different. I should say next episode we will be moving versions. So keep an eye out for that. That looks interesting, actually. It does. It does look interesting. All right, there we go. How does that look? It looks very strange. I know. This is where the next building is going to go. By the way, I just kind of marked it out. Um, I don't mind it, actually. I don't mind it. I think what we will do is, well, either, either we add some whiteness there, and then I don't know. Add a stair, maybe. Oh, wrong place. Add the stair there. Is that a bit too OTT? It almost seems like there's a wee bit too much going on there. So I think what we'll do is we'll just... We'll keep it nice generic. We'll just have... Some of that. Some logs to mark the outline. Yeah, there we go. I like that a lot more. I think I'll probably cut the recording before moving on to the next two builds, purely because I don't want to make them too similar to any of these. I want to go and maybe get some inspiration from around the web, see what I can come up with. Uh, what we're going to do for the... Hmm, for the... the roof, we could simply do that. Alright, yeah, we'll just go with that. Keep it simple. Um, that's probably the best policy here. 
I was trying to do all sorts of fancy stuff at the front. The thing is, it looks very thin, uh, the roof, just because we don't have... Well, for example, if this was 1.14 or 1.13, I would use upside down stairs to kind of make it a bit, uh, a bit wider. But we don't have that luxury, so uh, that will be fine, I think. I'm happy with that. So I started work on a second build, although I put it at this end because I saw one or two designs of builds similar to that that I thought I'd put here, since this is one back, if you know what I mean, the, the bases anyway. Um, so yeah, we're just working on this. It's very, very, very simple. Sometimes when you're doing things like this, simple builds are the best because you don't want to make too much work for yourself. Uh, we'll go up three blocks here. And we'll just add in the wool. And we'll have to leave space. Well, we don't have to leave space, but I will choose to leave space for windows. Let's have a... Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's just do that. We'll have, we'll have two different sized windows. And again, this isn't my design. Just want to reiterate that. I'm not the best when it comes to inspiration. But I can adapt. I'm, I'm certainly alright at adapting. This this is adapted ever so slightly. Ah, I don't actually like that. <laughs> I I don't I don't like the windows. I'm not gonna lie. Let's uh yeah let's leave that there. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. So I decided to do something different for the roof here. As you can see, I'm uh, alternating between stairs and slabs. Not sure if that's necessarily a good thing. I'm hopeful that it'll just make it stand out a bit more. And, uh, well, also because I don't want the roof to be too too high, if you know what I mean. I don't want it to tower above all the other builds. I mean, currently it's, yeah, it currently is pretty high. Not nearly as high as the crane, though. Uh, right. I keep running out of blocks. I don't make nearly enough slabs or, or stairs. That's what it's looking like. Not so sure about the roof dripping down uh, to the level of the wool. That's kind of what it's like in the image, and I thought, ah, I'll be fine. Kind of is, to an extent. I guess that's not out com uh, completely out of the ordinary. Either way, I think we'll just go with it. We'll just uh, roll with it. So for this build here, I don't have any ideas. I don't have any images. We're just going to have to go for it. That is actually a lot higher than I anticipated it would be. But that's given me a good idea for a design. We could have an area like that, but put it off centre. That might look cool. The problem is it will intersect with this, no doubt. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, and then if we add this here, two, three, four, and then we'll add that there. Okay, so this build is turning out to be very, very, very peculiar. Don't quite know where half of it came from. And I'm not sure, like, the roof is going to be even more challenging. We'd better kind of continue this roof as well, just so, like, they intersect properly. See, all the roofs are exactly the same, which is the, well, my one concern. There's nothing unique about the roofs. But that's because all the builds are exactly the same, just different styles. Anyway, yeah, that's what it's looking like. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement a door uh, probably here. And then we can maybe add... Um, yeah, let's add a window here. Should we put a window there? Yeah, why not? It's at street level. And then I might do some more... Ooh, should we do some... Let's add some fences. I added some fences down there and it looked alright. Oh, wrong place. Let's get rid of that. And then... We've got fences. Just put them there. I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but it's just, you know, a bit more in the way of detail. This is something that I'm not liking. and uh, I'm not liking it it's a lot, put it that way, but it's... I don't think it's even necessary. I know. How about we get wool out and use that? Oh, darn, it's turning nights. Yeah, let's turn all this here. T 
to wool, just just to change things up a bit. It's just exactly the same style as everything else, I know, I know, but it's it's just because there's nothing else I can really do. Let's, let's go to sleep and then we'll get back to it in the morning. I'm really not sure. I'm probably going to go with it because it blends in well. The roof's different, I know, but... I don't really have much of a choice with the roof because it intersects with the two houses on either side and that's one very good way of doing the roof. I think I'll probably just roll with it to be honest. Yep, we'll go with it. It's uh, It's been decided. <laughs> uh, so that's the front of the builds completed. I think they... well, they look unique. That's the, that's the main thing. They use the same block palette which may not be a good thing but it just adds to the, the medieval feel of it. Let's see what it looks like coming in. Yeah, see, look at that. I like that. I think that's pretty good. And the street's going to be pretty narrow eventually, so... It's going to really have that narrow street feel that you would get in medieval times. Because obviously there was no cars, there was no uh, trucks, there was no reason for a street to be, um, you know, super wide. So... Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. We'll just add some gravel here to be in keeping with uh, you know, the modifications we've made at the bottom. This could probably have been moved over slightly, but I mean, I, I don't want to change it now. There we go. I mean, we could maybe have the build jut out a bit here just to, you know fill up space as it were but yeah this is what it looks like from behind <laughs> it's like it's like a movie set if you like you where there's just like cardboard cutouts and all the scenes go on here nothing happens behind hence why there's uh, nothing added right well i do kind of want to get the the builds finished to the point where there you know there's walls on them and everything and backs so I guess I'll work on that then a bit off camera just try and get that shaped the way I want and uh, I might finish the roofs as well so as you can see we have got an interesting development that I was unaware of apparently fences are flammable I'm almost positive they weren't flammable in uh, the previous update although I don't remember when I added these fences oh yeah we should probably put the fire out um yeah, I don't remember exactly when I added these, but I'm under the impression that I added them at least in beta 1.5, and I don't think they were burning down then, but obviously things have changed, and uh, I think flame, well, I think it was 1.6 when fire spread and all that was changed a bit, so whether that was changed to involve other blocks as well, um, I'm not sure, but Judging by events back there, that would seem to be the case. Alright, I just solved the problem by raising the fences up by a single block. There's a view of the city now. Doesn't look too bad. I, th I was worried that if as soon as we started building it would t kind of detract from it, but in my opinion it's, uh, it's only added to, yeah, just the, the look of it. So yeah pretty positive about it now. I've done nothing on it by the way. I went back to get food and a water bucket and uh, that's where I uh, discovered the fire spread. Just thought I would show that off because that is uh, an interesting development that I haven't witnessed before. So I've done a lot of work off camera. Like I just, I just got my head down and I just went for it. As you can see this is what we've got. Uh, so this was what we had done originally the front of all the buildings. Uh, this is the side now. Changed the cobble out with gravel and then added a similar sort of look to this build at the side. I personally like it. Uh, we do have a well we do have some stone slabs down here. We could change that to cobble to be fair because I'm not sure how the stone slabs actually look. Uh, we've got stairs here acting as supports. I really do like that look. It's not I don't think it's game changing or it's not like super amazing but I do like this idea of stairs being support so it'd be even better if you could stick torches on the back but alas that is uh, no issue. 
Now, this is off-centre for a reason, because it would have intersected the crane, and I didn't want to... Well, I couldn't be bothered moving the crane, so I just kind of built the... Uh, or constructed the building so that it would avoid it, basically. And I like it as well. It's got an, uh, a unique look to it, with a window on one side, nothing on the other. It's... Yeah, it's fine. The only issue is I might get rid of the window. I, 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 I added a window, got rid of a window, added a window again, I might get rid of it again. This is the middle building with a back door. We can actually add in some more stone. This is entirely stone. I was going to leave it just as a mixture of dirt and sand, but I thought we might as well. Wait, there's a mob. Oh, look, there he is. There's a mob inside the uh, customs office. Oh. We'll just leave him in there. Actually, his groaning will annoy me, so let's get rid of it. There's also another mob over there, but I think that's a, a passive animal, a passive mob. Um, yeah, so this is what this building looks like. And then the only other building I've got to do is the, well, the original first building that we worked on this episode. Um, it's quite cool because you can walk between all the roofs and that is, it's alright. The one issue is if you're looking at it from above, it's just the same colour, which doesn't look amazing. I mean, I, I think I can get by, honestly, because there we've got a, a lack of of blocks. That being said, obviously I could decorate it with more stairs and that, but the thing is we use cobble textures a lot with uh, within the actual build, so I don't want to overuse any textures, if you know what I mean. I'm just trying to figure out... Um, yeah, just trying to figure out what I want to do with this build, because it's... it's it's the last one that I'm doing. I've shaped all the other builds based on how I want to, you know, construct them. This one is just, it's like the last one and it's just been left and it's been defined by the builds around it. That's what I'm trying to say. It's been defined by the builds around it and so it's it comes down to how can we shape it based on what I've already done. Alright, so that should be, that should be this build finished. Um, we could in theory have a, uh, oh yeah, the, the problem is the interiors. <laughs> the interiors have just kind of been left, uh, cast aside really. Uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just leave up a wall of cobblestone between each build and then that can be altered if we ever come back to doing the interiors. <laughs> I'll be honest, there may be a chance that we don't ever complete the interiors just because of well my lack of motivation basically I enjoy doing exteriors a lot more I know I've spoken about that in the past I mean we, we might add one or two things but I don't want to go over the top with it uh, but there we go we've added the the walls in between and that is the three builds done which means we have more or less added loads of, well, everything. We've completely covered the area between uh, or in this quadrant. It's completely covered with builds and things like that. There's one or two areas where it's not, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it, actually. It's been difficult and the, the difficult thing moving forward will be, do we copy the exact same style over the other side of the road? I think we will and then in other parts of the city we may try and alter it slightly because this is just purely medieval, this this kind of style. But is there more we can do? That is that is a question. I brought flowers because I wanted to, yeah, just decorate the front of the houses here. There's grass here, the only grass in the whole quadrant. Anyway, with that all said and done, I wish to thank you for watching. Apologies that again I did a lot off camera, but I just wanted to nail it, get it all done and dusted. I've done that. Hope you like it. And the next episode will be in another update. I'll see you then. Bye for now.